Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we're going to solve this differential equation. Here we have y double prime times a parentheses with y minus 1 inside, and that's equal to y prime. And we're going to solve this when y is greater than 1. Well, notice that if y is exactly equal to 1, the left-hand side is just going to be 0, and when we differentiate 1, we get 0, namely the y prime is 0. So that's easy, right? Anyway, let me tell you guys that the answer to this right here, it's not elementary. And in fact, we cannot get y in terms of x, but we can actually get x in terms of y, and we have to use a special function right here. Anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it, and now let's see how we can go about this. Some of you guys might notice that this right here is not linear, because you see we have the y double prime times the y right here, huh? But it's okay, it's not so bad, because we only have y, y prime, and y double prime. There's no x being involved, so that's a good sign sometimes. I think it's a good idea to isolate the y double prime and hope for the best from there, so we'll see what happens. So let's do that. Let's divide this on both sides, so we get y double prime equals y prime over y minus 1, like this. And in fact, this is very nice because now we can integrate both sides, and suppose y is a function of x, or the other variable is x, right? So we will integrate both sides with respect to x like this. The left-hand side is very easy because when we integrate y double prime, we just get y prime. Because when we differentiate this, we get that. Very nice. Don't worry about the constant, just put it down on the right-hand side. So here this is equal to, integrating this, notice that we have y minus 1 on the bottom, and when we differentiate y minus 1, we just get y prime, and that's on the top already. All in all, the integral right here is just natural log, with absolute value, right, technically, but because we know y is greater than 1, so we don't need the absolute value, we can just put down parentheses, and we can write down the y minus 1, like this. Because this right here is always positive, because we have this condition. And you can do a real quick check. When we differentiate this, we put the inside on the bottom, and use the chain rule, and the derivative y minus 1 is just y prime, which is the on the top already, right? And now, don't forget the constant, so let's put down plus c1 right here. So, this is what we have. But how can we solve this though? Yes, we can do separating the variable. So, right here, notice y prime is of course the same as dy dx, and we will just divide this on both sides. And remember, it's the whole thing on both sides. And multiply the dx on both sides. So, let's put that down first. We have 1 over ln parentheses y minus 1 and then plus c1 like this and that's in the y world so let's put down dy and that's equal to the dx right here on the right hand side by itself like this now we can just again integrate both sides so this is actually really nice but how can we deal with this though this is the time that we have to use special functions and of course we have the special blue marker and of course i have been using the pink marker right here as well <laughs> All right, so let's take a look right here. So, integral of 1 over ln parentheses y minus 1 plus c1 dy. Hmm, maybe let's go ahead and do some substitution. I will let u equal to the whole denominator. So u equals, we have natural log parentheses y minus 1, and we have the plus c1 after that. And as usual, let's just differentiate both sides. So we get du equals, now, when we differentiate both sides, we are differentiating this with respect to y. So when we differentiate this with respect to y, we just get 1 over y minus 1. Because the derivative of y minus 1 with respect to y is just 1. So there's no like uh, y prime or so. It's just this, but we do have the dy right here. Right? And of course, we can solve for the dy. So we get dy, multiply this on both sides. We get parentheses y minus 1 times du, like this. Very good, and now, take this integral to the u world, we get the integral of 1 over, this whole thing is just the u, and the dy is all this, but it seems like the y minus 1, the y right here, it's not inviting the u world, huh? And there's nothing we can cancel out, but it's okay, because we can just look back here and isolate the y minus 1. To do so, minus the c1 on both sides, so we have ln parentheses y minus 1, that's equal to u minus c1. 
And then of course do e to the power on both sides. So we have e to this power and e to that power. And this and that will cancel. We just have y minus 1. That's equal to e to the u times, well, it's the same as saying e to the u times e to the c1, right? Negative c1, technically. So now, we can just put this right here. So I'll put this down right here for you guys. y minus 1, which is the same as this, I will just write it down as e to the u and then e to the negative c1, right? And we have this in the u world, so let's put on the du right here. So that's what we have. Notice e to the c e to the negative c1 is just a constant. We can just put that in the front. So we have e to the negative c1, and that's integrate. This right here is just e to the u over u in the u world. This right here, don't write it down as a c2 though, because um, this right here is c1. And for now, we only have one constant, so I would really have to keep it as what it is. So, I will still keep it as e to the negative c1. And what's this now? Well, this right here is a special function. When we integrate e to the u over u in the u world, we get the exponential integral function, so ei of the input, which is our u. And the u is this. So I will have to put down ln, parentheses y minus 1 plus c1. And see, we have the c1, c1 right here. Do not write the whole thing as the c2 though. Okay, so when we integrate the left-hand side, we get this. So of course, we just have to put that down right here. We get e to the negative c1 times the exponential integral function of this whole thing inside, namely ln of y minus 1 plus c1 like this. And that's equal to, well, integrating 1 in the x world, we just get x. And usually I tell you guys to like uh, to put a plus constant on the right-hand side, but it's a good idea to just isolate the x, right? So I will put down plus c2 right here, integrate both sides. You just have to put plus the constant on one of the sides. So I put it down here. So notice, here we get x as a function of y for the solution. And this right here is equal to, let me just write it down again because it's cool. This right here is the solution to this differential equation. Very, very cool. Well, how did I come up with this though? Hmm, this right here is actually asked by one of my followers on Twitter. His name is Maxime. But this is not his original question. His original question is this. But the problem is that if you try to use a similar technique, it won't work. Because it just won't. <laughs> um, you can try if you isolate the y double prime, and you will just end up with like y prime is equal to ln of y plus x. Something like that. And it just doesn't work. But perhaps if you guys know how to do it though, because I was stuck, I just didn't know how to continue from there. I don't think there's a solution for it. So if you guys know how to solve this, uh, help us out. You guys can post your comments down below and try to solve this. Maybe there's like a different method to do it. I just couldn't see it whatsoever. But anyway, and the truth is I misread his question twice. First, I didn't see the Y right here. So I thought you, the question was super easy. But what? There was a Y. And then for some reason, I just didn't really care for it. I thought there's like Y double prime. So I, factor out the y double prime and I solve this and I thought it was so cool so I make the video right here for you guys but now help us out how to solve this differential equation anyway hopefully you guys at least enjoy this though and as always that's it <laughs>